Carol Plato. And then George. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for this um, opportunity and for um, hearing me today. I um, am Carol Plato. I am from Martin County, and I am Director of Corporate Business Services for Martin Memorial Medical Center. I just have a brief uh, couple stories to tell you about. In uh, 2001, we had a Guatemalan, an illegal uh, patient in our hospital. He was there from 2001 until 2003. Um, he had over 1.5 million dollars uh, in health care services. We forcibly returned him to to his home count, uh, country of Guatemala at our own cost of thirty thousand dollars. You ask why am I telling you about a case that happened in 2003? Because today that case is not over. We have spent and are spending up to a quarter of a million dollars in legal fees because his um, family here in the United States is suing us because they think it was inappropriate for us to return this illegal patient to his home country. Currently, we, uh, to, as of today, I have a patient from Mexico who has been in my hospital for 760 days. He has severe brain damage. He has no family, no friends. His charges to date for, this, for almost two years is $1.5 million. And we have contacted the Mexican consulate four times. We've contracted contacted immigration and um, nobody will help us um, return this patient to Mexico. We're even willing to spend our own thirty thousand dollars to return this patient. We can't get anyone um, to help us with that. In 2007 the Florida Hospital Association estimates that there was a hundred million dollars in cost for illegal patient care. That affects all of us. One of the major problems that healthcare institutions have today that you need to be aware of is ongoing care. If somebody comes into our emergency rooms, we don't turn them away. But if somebody comes into our emergency room and they have renal failure and they require dialysis, right now I have six patients, illegal, undocumented patients that we are seeing every three days for renal dialysis. For all of this that I've talked to you about, we've received no reimbursement. Uh, this obviously affects all of us in this room. Our health care costs are severely affected by this. Also would like to um, end with pointing out that a large percentage of the uh, babies born at our facility are from um, illegal parents. Great. Thank you. I, I do have one quick question for Representative Shank. Sorry, I know there's a lot of speakers. Ma'am, when you know that they're illegal and they come to your hospital, do you report them to the federal authorities to come get them? We have tried, and um, we have been told on numerous occasions that they're only interested if a crime has been committed. And from what I understand, it seems like they're not even interested then. So the fact that they're illegal is not enough crime. Correct. <laughs> Straight